Hey everybody, it's the C3UG gang here today. Uh, I'm Graham from Bright Tech Systems in Vancouver and uh, Scott. Hey, Scott Mitchell from IBM uh, in Calgary. Heiko. Hi, Heiko Voigt from Harbor Light in Halifax and Colin. Colin Breckles with Castle Breck in Ontario. Graham, what are we here to talk about? We are here to talk about the news that was announced on December 6th uh, between IBM and HCL, where HCL Technologies has agreed to acquire uh, a list of IBM products, uh, software products for $1.8 billion. That list happens to include some products that we in the collaboration world are pretty interested in, namely Notes and Domino and Connections. Um, just for interest's sake, uh, it also includes uh, Portal, Commerce, Unica, Big Fix, and AppScan. Uh, and I know at the time that the announcement came out, Colin, you had some quick thoughts that you uh, posted for everybody to uh, review. So we wanted to just talk about those and then share our thoughts on that today. So why don't I hand it over to you and you can uh, run through that blog post real quick. Thanks, Graham. Absolutely. So that said, here's a blog post. I, I am somewhat reading from it, but it is what it is. So what does it mean to a customer? Um, what does it mean to the ecosystem? It's, it's, it's truly a good thing. HCL has a lot of skin in the game. Um, so HCL already made a significant investment with the existing partnership where an IBM would maintain offering management uh, and, and the sales and marketing and tech support. Um, this is an even bigger investment. It's a huge investment. They can't afford to get this wrong. This is a significant investment for any company, $1.8 billion, and they need to see it through. You, you have a very motivated vendor. Also, they've shown an intensity and motivation to move it forward during the existing um, partnership. Um, so this is also a great thing. They've, they've already demonstrated that they can do that. They've delivered, they, they did the jams for Domino 10, they delivered Domino 10. They're already planning jam, jams for Domino 11, and uh, you know, you're seeing the results already. So that's, that's a great thing. The community has a lot of buzz. Like we haven't seen the amount of buzz that we're seeing and hearing now from our colleagues in quite some time. And, and it's wonderful. Um, and in fact, the, the employees who have moved over to HCL, and, and by the way, you, you may be aware that as part of the original partnership, um, they, they hired the IBMers, the brain trust behind the product um, on the development side to move over to HCL. Um, so it wasn't an outsourcing deal. And those that already moved over to HCL are pr pretty happy about that. And uh, the, the, the guys can talk more about this, but you know, they're genuinely, genuinely happy and excited about the future, which is, that's a good barometer, we think. Um, and a fourth point is that HCL has been innovating around and on top of the platform. So, so the existing partnership certainly allowed to do them, whereas IBM would maintain the sales and marketing um, to date um, before this new transaction closes. Um, of ICS products, HCL were certainly free to build their own branded offerings on top of and around it. And we've already seen some cool stuff out of them um, that, that they intend to bring to market. Um, well, this is only better. Now that they're fully acquiring the portfolio, um, there's no, differentiate, no differentiation between IBM owned and HCL owned product. And, you know, so you might see new features in the existing products as well as potentially new offerings. Um, you know, we're not speaking on behalf of HCL and we don't want to speculate too much, but based on what we've seen too far, so far, this is pretty positive. Um, finally, this is the one point that's really noteworthy. So what's the downside? Um, and frankly, we just don't see one. For a customer, for our customers, it's a really important question. We don't see one. There's new optimism about Domino 10 and beyond, um, and likely new optimism about the other affected products, like same time um, and connections. And co connections hadn't been a part of the original partnership. That's new as part of this new acquisition. And so there, there's optimism um, around the portfolio, the likes of which we haven't seen in a while. So frankly, we just don't see a significant and obvious downside to the customer. Um, and that's our quick analysis on it. And it's all worth stating. So, so that said, we'll turn it over uh, to the other guys for thoughts. Um, Heiko? Thanks, Colin. Yeah, well, I mean, um, your blog post sums it up nicely, I think. And um, I think the, we, because we can't speculate too much on on the on what HCL is bringing to the table, but we can only look at what's, what we've seen in the first year of the partnership that they had with Notes and Domino, and they brought significantly, uh, a significant amount of of deliverables to the table and then a significant amount of engagement into the community. And I think if they can continue this pace, and also um, now as being fully responsible for this whole product set extend their go-to-markets and uh, come up with um, some 
new and exciting ideas of how to extend the market share for these products, we're more than happy to take that. And I think from a lot of my customers that I've been talking to, uh, they're happy that um, there's a clear distinction now between what was IBM before and then what is HCL now. So going onwards with HCL, I think, offers a lot of possibility for the future for a lot of customers. And uh, as you say, there's, from my perspective, there's no real downturn on that. And that's the good thing, I guess. Yeah, and for me, um, you know, following up on a couple of your thoughts there, Colin, um, number one, HCL is not going to spend $1.8 billion and let these products die. So for anybody who's standing out there, like I, I saw a post on LinkedIn last week that said, you know, Lotus Notes is dead. And I'm like, absolutely, it's not dead. There's no way that all of those products that HCL is going to acquire them and, and let them just die in the vine. That, that's going to sink their business. So, um, you know, these products are going to be viable for a very long time. Uh, and I think the, the reinvigoration into connections uh, has been long overdue. There's been a lot of people that have been wondering why we haven't seen uh, a lot of new stuff coming in connections. Um, this move is going to really boost connections forward just like it has notes and domino. Um, the other point that you made in the blog post about uh, the staff from uh, HC or from IBM moving over to HCL, I went to the, uh, uh, the factory tour in July and actually got to interact directly with the folks uh, that moved over from IBM to HCL. And I, I can tell you that looking into their faces and talking to them, they were all thrilled about just the you know, not necessarily that, that they were leaving IBM, but that there was a reinvigoration in the tools and the software that they've been working with. And I think, you know, there was a sentiment for a very long time that, that they weren't necessarily seeing IBM moving forward with the product in the way that they hoped to, because a lot of them have been working with that tool for a long time and, and love it and could see that investment and, and that life brought back into the product by HCL. And, and we've all been seeing that. So that was really wonderful to see. Um, <clears throat> my last thought is that, uh, you know, to, to take these products um, and breathe new life into them, um, I'm very interested to see how HCL focuses on growing the market. So, you know, these are mature products, um, not just Notes and Domino, um, but all of the tools that they've purchased. And, and how are they going to, you know, uh, uh, enhance the, the tools to the point that there is new interest in the marketplace for new customers to be able to use these tools. Like there's, there's a lot of them, you know, we are old school people. We know how that these tools work. We, we can take advantage of them, but um, that, that market has shrunk. So how do we reinvigorate it? How do we grow that new market? It, it's got to come from new investment in the tools. So I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, Scott, what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, um, I echo a lot of the, the points in the blog post just on a personal level um, that, that we talked about a little bit earlier. But um, internally, I think I can provide some insight like what's happening inside at IBM right now. Um, but one of the things I really want to stress and to everyone who's kind of watching this is it's still business as usual the way, you know, uh, in, in the current market to what's, what's happening right now. We're not changing anything. It's not like you're going to start dealing with an HCL person on July or on on. Uh, in the coming few months here. Um, you're going to just work with IBM like you have before um, until the actual sale closes, right? Because there's still regulatory approvals that need to happen and, and whatnot. Um, so it's still business as usual. We want to stress that. Work with the same people you've been working with, the same partners like the guys on the call here, just like you've been working with in the past until you get uh, um, uh, further notice from, from ourselves or from the partners. Um, one other huge point, and I think this was stressed by our CEO, Ginny Rometty, uh, on a company-wide video chat that she did, like a fireside chat she did about a week ago, is that IBM is still 100% committed to using these, the entire suite of products, which we're talking about here. Uh, we're still using Notes and Domino. We're still using Connections and Connections Cloud. We're still using same time internally. And that's for you know, our, our workforce of what, a quarter million or 300 people, 300,000 people around the world. So the products still have their largest customer and they will going forward. There's been zero indication that we're moving away from those products. Um, so that's super important, right? I think from a, internally at IBM and just inside of IBM within the folks that work within the brand, as we call it in IBM, it's a ton of positive energy that have come out of this. I mean, it's only, everyone is only seeing this as good. Um, Internally, we've seen much like everyone in, in, in uh, externally have seen a little bit less investment in the products in the past few years. 
um, to the point where we feel the wrath sometimes from internal IBMers is why aren't you fixing that thing? Why isn't that thing getting better? Why isn't this happening? And now we can finally say to the people that come by our desk at IBM, hey, watch, it's going to start getting actually better now because of this announcement. Um, so as we said, and to that last point that we had on the blog post, it's only positive. There's only good things that are going to come from this. And all the people I've talked to who have moved to HCL, like we just said, are really happy about working at HCL. So, um, like I said, positive things to come, um, mm. and Colin, your, your personal thoughts beyond the blog post. What do you think? It's positive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, um, <laughs> having seen what they've already done to attract a new market, they're already opening up full stack development, um, you know, yeah, with the app dev pack and beyond, we don't want to get too far off the, 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 the thrust of this call, but, um, other videos we've done have started to show those things and it's, there's demonstrable, um, assets that have already been brought to market, um, to, to, to start to, to make that a real reality. So it's not, uh, that they're not taking the necessary actions to make that happen. So, Excellent. Yeah. Go ahead, Colin. I, I think we're in full wrap up here. Um, yeah. That's all we wanted to get forth today. Um, thank you so much as always for your spending your time with us and watching our videos. Uh, please do uh, like comment and subscribe um, and click the bell icon. So you get notifications when there's new content from C3UG. And I just wanted to add that uh, Colin's blog post is on www.c3ug.ca and there is. is a link to the announcement from IBM and HCL in that blog post. So you can get more information there as well. Thanks for watching. Right. Take care, Thank everyone. You.